Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to give my response to the whole Blizzard WoW thing, right? I'm not going to really talk about the logistics of it and whether they should have done it or not. I'm just going to talk about why people would like to play older versions, um, you know, like prior sequels, prequels, whatever they're called, uh, games, right? Because some people like it, maybe because it is better, but maybe because it's not better, right? They just actually want to play the game because there's some redeeming value for them to replay it over and over and over again, right? So that's what we're going to talk about here. Some games like this one are just complete ultimate shit, and they're actually really fun because of just how bad they are. So this game right here is StarCraft 64. You probably didn't even know this came out on the N64. You know, you think of StarCraft, right? It's a PC game, and that's where you can actually play the game. When you play it on the N64, the controls and the video quality are just so bad, it's hard to actually play the game at all. But that's what makes it so much fun, because this prequel is actually just so bad. And this is one circumstance where this really, really, really bad game is fun to play. So now let's talk about games where it's not necessarily better or worse than its sequel. People just want to play the game because they have a reason to, and I'll give my reasons for why I like to play a couple games. So let's start off with the Smash Brothers uh, sequels, right? So here you have the original one, the one that I grew up playing a lot with my brothers. Then you have Melee, which has certain characters that aren't in either game, right? If you want to play Mewtwo, you have to play this game. Then you have uh, Brawl, which, you know, if you want to play Rob or something, then you can't play the other games. So why would anybody ever play this game if, obviously, it probably it's on the worst system, probably has the worst latency, uh, least amount of characters? Why would anybody ever play it? Well, I'm the best at this game. So I want to play this game because I want to destroy people. Why would anybody ever play this game? Well, maybe they want to play Mewtwo or some bogus-ass ice climbers that's just way too strong, right? And they would play this game. It also has, you know, the highest skill gap, in my opinion. You know, there's advanced mechanics that I haven't mastered, but I know them better than other people. So if I want to play a really hard game, I'll play this against them. Then there's this Brawl game. Why would you want to play this? Well, if you want flashy games, something like that, you're probably going to play Brawl, right? So there's a reason to play each different game. Ne not necessarily, you know, one's not better than the other, but... You just play what you want to play because you have, you get enjoyment out of playing them. So now we're going to move on to Paper Mario. Here's the original one, here's the Thousand Year Door for GameCube, and here's Super Paper Mario for the Wii. So now this is a great example of why the latest isn't necessarily the greatest. Each of these games is completely different from each other. So if you want to play them, you can pick which one you want because it has a different style to it. So why would I ever want to play this one? Me personally. Well, I could never beat it as a kid. My brother could just go through and destroy the game, and I could never beat it. So when I wanted to play these games, you know, I went on to this one, and I beat it. And then I went on to this one, and I beat it. Then eventually I went back, and I beat this one, and I got so much enjoyment out of playing it. Not just because it's bad or anything, or because it's better, but because I had a personal relationship to this game. So now we're going to move on to the Super Mario games. So obviously you have Super Mario 64, you have Mario Sunshine, and then you have Super Mario Galaxy. So why would you play the different games in this one? Well, I think it's mainly due to, number one, the difficulty, and number two, the art style of it is slightly different. So in Super Mario Galaxy, it's probably the easiest one of them all, right? And it's also very blocky, meant for the yeah, like newer style games, right? Then you have, back going backwards, you have Super Mario Sunshine, the hardest of the three, no doubt. Um, so if you like super hard games, you would want to play this one. And then you have Super Mario 64. It's somewhere in between with um, the kind of art style and the kind of gameplay that you're going to have, you know, medium difficulty. So that's why you play different games of this. Neither one is necessarily better, but depending on what you're feeling, you're going to play the different games. Now on to Mario Kart. So obviously here's Mario Kart 64, you have Double Dash, and then you have Mario Kart Wii. So now there's, there's the obvious thing about why you pick different games, and that's because of the joysticks, right? Obviously here, you're going to probably not use a GameCube controller, because that's kind of lame. So you're probably going to use the Wiimote or one of these like car driving things, you know, steering wheels for you. For this one, you're going to be using the GameCube controller. And for here, you're going to be using the N64 controller. So definitely there, the feel is entirely different. So that alone gives you a reason to play the different ones. Also, this one's probably a little bit more trickier, just because of, you know, the different buttons you have control of. And then there's this one right here, which, you know, has different items that might throw you in the visual style of it, might throw you off too, because some things are really small for some people. So that's why you play the different ones of these. Yes, honestly, dude, if... Blizzard decides to revert their dumb fuck decision of shutting
shutting down Nostralis. I kind of want to uh, play it. Like, I want to try it. I didn't realize, like, I understand Vanilla WoW is very nostalgic, but if that many people played on Nostralis, what if it's actually really fucking fun? I'd play a warrior, a prop warrior, probably. Um, I don't know, man. The chances of them doing that are very low. But maybe there's a chance, you know?